what's up you guys welcome to a new video so obviously for today's video as you saw in the title i'm going to be answering your guys's questions because i feel like i've never really just sat down and done a q a with you guys i think the last q a that i did was around christmas so it was like so long ago so we have a lot to catch up on and especially for those who are new to my channel so i decided what better way to know me than just sitting down with an iced coffee answering your guys's questions so you guys could get to know me a bit better i honestly love watching q a's too they're just like so chill okay so i'm gonna answer the questions that i got on instagram first i literally accidentally deleted the story thankfully i have like screenshots of the questions like that came up in my feed how to stop comparing to another so how to stop comparing yourself to another person i know that especially in today's day and age with social media you're seeing people everywhere mostly on social media it could be very hard to not compare yourself to other people because you're constantly seeing beautiful people that look like they have a perfect life and that's like one of the most toxic things about social media is that obviously you only almost all the time just see people's filtered lives their filtered pictures, their edited photos. People choose what they want to show the internet, obviously. So if you're comparing yourself to somebody's looks, let's say you see this girl on the internet and you think that she's so beautiful or this guy and you're like, oh shit, I want to look like them. Why don't I look like that? You just have to realize that there's beautiful, amazing people out there and you are beautiful and amazing as well. And you are unique. And that is the thing that everybody is unique. And we have created these societal ideas about people's appearances and in the grand scheme of things, no one is pretty or no one is ugly. Everyone is just different and everyone is just unique and that's the bottom line. Society has made us think that looking a certain way is making you look more pretty or making you look more beautiful or whatever, but in reality, you're you and everybody looks different for a reason because we're all unique. People probably look at you the same way maybe you look at other people and think, wow, that girl or that guy is so beautiful. You just have to be confident within yourself, comparing yourself to somebody else and wanting to look like them that takes away your uniqueness if that even makes sense embrace how you look embrace yourself and rock it and be confident is content creating your full-time job so no it is not my full-time job although it does take the majority of my time because i do post on youtube three days a week so that is a lot of editing and a lot of filming to do i do have a video editing job on the side right now i'm just only working with this one company and i'm just doing instagram reels and i'm doing their youtube videos that's what I'm editing for them and I also just started to do background acting that has been my third stream of income So since I'm young I want to have as many streams of income as I can possibly do while not completely branching out of what makes me happy and align with my vision, my life, and what I want in the future. Even though YouTube does take the majority of my time, I would honestly say that YouTube is my full-time job, but I do have side hustles. That's how I think of it in my mind, is like YouTube is my big circle, like YouTube is my main circle. But yeah, I realize that I'm in such a fortunate and amazing place right now, and I love what I do. I have the most amazing jobs ever. My goal in the future is to become a full-time YouTuber and do content creation full-time because this is like what I love and this is my passion like I've always loved making YouTube videos and that's why I always want to put YouTube on the pedestal it's always gonna come first over anything because I do want to become a full-time youtuber and content creator because that is my dream job and I'm living it out right now even I do make a great income from it right now so I can't complain I just really can't what is your favorite coffee recipe at the moment so currently it's what I'm drinking it's just cold brew and then I put a little bit of that sweetened oak creamer in it and it's so freaking good I've just been loving it it's like the perfect summer drink how tall are you so i'm five foot three and a half um but if people were to just ask me i'll just say five three because i feel like five four is like pushing it kind of average i don't i don't know am i short kind of short i really like my height your all-time favorite book i love reading books about like spirituality and like manifestation so i'm just gonna put the book on the screen that's like my favorite for motivation my all-time favorite story time book if that even makes sense is the hunger games i know like they made movies and stuff but i literally read the books before they made the movies i was literally obsessed i think i read the books like two or three times I used to be obsessed with it what do you think about soulmates so i totally think that you can have a soulmate like I totally believe in that and I think that when you find your soulmate like you just know deep down that it's like your person and I also believe that some people don't have soulmates if that makes sense but yeah I find the idea of soulmates like really fascinating and definitely true from my perspective current 
favorite playlist. So I'm not gonna play the songs in the video because I don't wanna get copyrighted. But what I'll do right now is I'll put screenshots of my favorite songs on the screen so you guys can screenshot it and go search them up. Afterlife Thoughts. And I can go on and on and on about this. So I'm gonna try and make this answer as short as possible. So I've kind of come to the thought process decision, whatever you want to call it, that at the end of the day, nobody really knows what happens after you die. I've become so open-minded. I don't think that anyone's beliefs are wrong. I don't think anybody is wrong. You're allowed to believe what you want to believe because at the end of the day, nobody knows for sure. As long as your beliefs don't harm anyone, then think what you want to think. What I personally believe is that we have a soul and I believe that when we die, we go to a magical, beautiful place whether it's called heaven, I don't know. But I believe that there is a greater amazing place waiting for us after we die. I believe that if you're a good person and you have a good heart, you're gonna get there no matter what. I don't believe that there's just nothing. But yeah, when it comes to religion and all of that, I don't like to label myself anymore because I am just very open-minded. I just want to help others in this life and work on myself, work on being a better person moving forward. And I think that's the main key and aspect to life is being the best person you can be, spreading love to others, and just doing the best that you can. Tips to start to be a content creator. You just gotta, one, be yourself and be realistic. If you're having a bad day, don't try and force yourself. Like, don't turn on the camera and be like, hi guys, and like mask that because that just comes across as very fake and people can tell. Make sure you're authentic with your audience. If that just means not picking up the camera when you're having a bad day, then, then do that. But never fake it because people can see right through that. Another tip I have is just to be consistent. If you want to make it your full-time gig, you just have to be consistent and you'll see results. It's like anything in life. If you quit too soon, you're never going to see the results. Keep going at it even if it feels impossible at the beginning. Another tip I have is just to not care about what other people think about you because obviously there's going to be people that, random people that judge you on the internet, but there's also going to be people you know that are going to start to judge you and you just have to be in the mental state that you're able to block that out. Don't let the haters and people that are going to judge you, even people you know personally, don't let that, that affect you. Don't let people's opinions affect what you create because at the end of the day you're doing it for you and not for anybody else. So yeah. Okay, coffee's pretty much done. How do you give time for others plus your work, organizing your time? I honestly suck. This is something that I need to work on, on like reaching out to friends I haven't talked to in a while. I feel like that sometimes comes across as me not giving a shit about them. I'm really bad at balancing things sometimes. That's something I have to work on is just staying in touch with people that I love and want to stay in touch with. And I think the best thing that I've done is kind of dedicated the Monday to Friday to my work stuff and then I leave the weekend for kind of hanging out with my friends and having that time to spend with them, see people and do things. So that's how I've been organizing things. Weekdays are for work, weekends are for socializing. How do you cope with anxiety, stress, and also how do you organize your work for work and stuff? Sometimes it could get very overwhelming if I put too much on my plate. I just realized that I can't burn myself out because if you burn yourself out, then you're gonna be very, very stressed and that's just not good for your body. I cue into my body and I get to know like when I've done enough, when to stop. I think the most important part is not to overwork because once you overwork and you're gonna just become exhausted and that's gonna carry on into your work. I think that's my best tip for that is just know your limits and try not to burn yourself out. Try to space things out and don't be too hard on yourself and just know your limits and play within it and as for like anxiety like I don't have that anxiety at all but sometimes I do go through those phases where I do feel anxious if I have a lot of things on my plate and I found that meditating just really helps me with that I'll just like sit down clear my mind for a bit breathe it out and then it'll make me feel a lot more clear and better also if I have like a whole bunch of shit to do that's just piled up in my mind what I'll do is I'll take my phone or a pen and a paper and I'll just write down everything that I need to get done that's on my mind, write it down. It's like a weight lifted off your shoulders once you have it all on paper so you can see it instead of having it all jumbled in your mind and then you can space out those tasks. That is so helpful to do. If you just leave your thoughts like jumbled in your brain, then it's just gonna become worse and worse and worse and pile up and then you're gonna become like a mental wreck. Yeah, that's honestly one of my best tips is just to 
jot it down. So next question is someone's asking me who the boy in my videos is and that's my boyfriend, Joel. We've been together for four years now, just over four years, which is crazy. We met in high school in grade 11. If you guys ever see a guy in my video, I mean, I do have a brother, but Joel is like always in my videos. So if you guys are new here and don't know who the guy in my videos is, it's Joel and he's my boyfriend. Do you live alone or with your family or with your friends? So I live at home with my family currently. Obviously the goal is to move out one day, but I live in Vancouver. So the price of living here is very extremely expensive. And I just want to save up as much money as I can before moving out. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I love it here. I'm with my family and I just want to cherish the time that I have at home because I know that before I know it I'm gonna be moved out starting my own family one day So I think it's very important to like cherish every moment that you're in and appreciate it So yeah, while I'm still living at home I just always kind of am thinking like when I get older I'm gonna miss being at home and miss being with my family all the time and my siblings That's also another tip of mine in general for life is just appreciate every moment that you're in and look at the bright positive sides of it Because in the future you might miss that moment and you might want to go back to it and wish you had appreciated it more so yeah even though i'm 21 and still living at home i feel like that's a lot normal nowadays considering the price of living but yeah my goal is to one day buy a house buy a home what goals do you want to accomplish in your life one goal that i want to accomplish with my whole life is to be fulfilled and by that i mean just every aspect i just want to feel fulfilled with my life i want to say that yeah i did that because i wanted to do that and not give a shit about any, what anybody else thinks. I just wanna be fulfilled in life. And I think that is my number one goal, to live the happiest and fulfilled life that I can. What would be your dream career? So doing YouTube would be my ultimate dream career. I just don't think I can ever be someone sitting at an office all day. I'm just not a type of office kind of girl. How are you really? I was going through a little bit of like a, a patch where I was out of my routine and just not feeling mentally, physically the best, but I have been picking myself back up and I'm feeling a lot better now. Things are only going up from here and it's obviously so normal for everybody to have their ups and downs in life. If you don't feel pain, then you're not gonna know what happiness feels like. What is your favorite movie? Honestly, the era of the Maze Runner, Divergent, and Hunger Games. I just love the movies of that time. I don't have like a specific favorite movie movie to be honest i don't know i don't have one movie movie in particular that is like my favorite movie of all time best manifestation tip so i made a video all about this i'll link that down below as well but my best tip is just believe and feel it um if you want to attract a million dollars act as if you already have that million dollars feel how it would feel to have the million dollars and live that out what is your favorite part of your routine so my favorite part of my routine is definitely writing in my gratitude journal every morning just because it makes me reflect every morning and it really grounds me and it makes me think like how much I have to be grateful for and what a beautiful life I live. So that was all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. Thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you for asking the questions. Stay tuned for when I do my next q and I usually mostly will ask it on my Instagram so be sure to go follow me on there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your constant support and love and I'm always sending that right back to you guys. So. Also, let me know in the comments any video requests that you guys have because those always help. Is it